The royal family will look to distance themselves from the resignation as Charles, Prince of Wales prepares to be king, said Peter Hunt. Following the news of the resignation of Charles' right hand from his role running the Prince's Foundation, Mr. Hunt, BBC's royal correspondent from 2003 to 2017, said, palace officials will be keen to present this as Charles drawing a line under his past as he prepares for kingship. The royal expert added, they'll be less keen to talk about the size of the severance package given to the servant who once squeezed his master's toothpaste. Mr. Fawcett, 59, started out as a footman at Buckingham Palace and worked as chief executive of the royal charity, before resigning over the cash for honours inquiry earlier this week. The scandal erupted in September following reports that he had offered to help a billionaire Saudi donor of the prince's charity to secure knighthood and British citizenship. Clarence House confirmed in a statement it was cutting ties with Mr. Fawcett and would not work with his events company, Premier Mode, any A spokesperson said, Michael Fawcett and Premier Mode will not be providing services to us in the future. We have all agreed to end these arrangements, but royal commentators claimed they don't expect the relationship between the advisor and the Prince of Wales to be over. Royal author Penny Juna said, My guess is Fawcett will not be gone from the Prince's life entirely, maybe officially, but I would almost bet my boots he will still have a role in the Prince's life in some way or another. I know that the Prince loves him and HES indispensable to him but there has been too much scandal attached to him over the years. Royal expert Roy Nikar, speaking at BBC Radio 4's Today programme, said, Michael Fawcett really has been the Prince of Wireless right-hand man for many decades now. Reflecting on how closely involved in overseeing every bit of the Prince's life he had been for decades, Ms Nikar added, he will be an enormous loss to the Prince of Wales. The royal expert also suggested Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, aware of the role that lays ahead for Prince Charles as King, could have been eager to let go of the advisor. She said, Camilla was concerned that Michael Fawcett's ongoing presence in the household was detracting from the Prince's work and damaging the Prince's reputation, and the Duchess of Cornwall is steadfastly loyal to the Prince of Wales, as you would expect her to be, and my understanding was, and I've had no pushback, that she was keen to see him go, and go he has. Norman Baker, former Liberal Democrat MP and author of And What Do You Do? A book about royal family finances, said the cash for honours scandal showed a lack of judgment by the future king. The former MP said, I think it has has damaged Prince Charles. He added the Prince of Wales had failed in judging an individual's character.